Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's a dreary, rainy morning this morning. Oh, it and, is. and Lonnie's going to have to go to storage again because we sold something that's in storage. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I, I can dual purpose the trip. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I can, I might, I may even swing by Goodwill. I could grab, I'm going to go to storage, pick up an order, grab, uh, probably a couple more boxes to fill in the yeah. unlisted shelf because it's uh you haven't gone through all this shit have you i haven't and i still have the yarn and ribbon um from beth oh it's in the truck i brought the yarn and ribbon we bought from her to uh try to start working on that so okay yeah that'll give me stuff to do while he's out running yep so uh it is currently wednesday here in the shed i don't know what day it is in your world but um let's take a look at the momentum board we almost got to our goal yesterday. Yesterday was kind of challenging in a few ways, but we did 15 listings for 462. And, um, oh, I didn't update this, this yet. I'm going to have to recalculate these numbers. The total above that is correct. That's where we're currently right. at. Um, just our average daily, what we need to reach our goal right we're uh our goal is 360 items we're at 246 our other goal is ten thousand dollars we're at 98 12 so uh barring something really weird happening we'll we'll hit this part today yeah and we're probably going to go down to the wire trying to hit this one mm -hmm. that's the way it seems to go for us anyways let me see what uh let me see what we need to do now Okay, one number's looking really good, one's looking really bad. So, um, we're not bad, but it is what it is. Uh, we need to hit our goal by when, next Wednesday, a week from now. We need to list 19 things a day, which if you look at the board, there are, let's see, one, two, three times in the whole month where we've done 19 or more a day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we need to average thirty-one dollars and thirty-three cents in listings per day, which I mean, nothing, yeah. that that that's just going to happen. So we do have a good um, average per item this month. It's, yeah, it's right like, under forty dollars per item. Yeah, is our average. So I'm, I'm happy with that for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we need to pick it up though. These last six days of listing, uh, we do have some orders. eBay was like super slow. All day yesterday, it was super slow. Yeah. And then uh, last night and early this morning, we did get a few orders in, thank goodness. So mm -hmm. uh, we do have orders to pull. So we have seven items on eBay, and then we also sold one thing on Macari and one thing on Poshmark. So we're going to get started on eBay first. Okay. Um, we saw the, um, some floor mats on 7 Bravo. These are actually a return that we listed again, and they sold a few days later. Yep. So I'm gonna have to take uh, this duct tape off, and yeah, it's ready to go though, pretty much. Right. Um, and then um, that's uh, oh, I just glitched out. That sold for fifty nine ninety nine. Just to make sure they're not going to Alaska, because that's all we have left, right? Uh, continental U.S. Yeah. Okay, they're going to Orlando, Florida. Okay. We saw that sealed Zaxxon board game from our last buy. It's on Seven Echo. Okay. This thing is cool. Uh, yeah, here it is. I don't know how this this thing is like forty-two years old. Yeah. And still sealed. Yeah. That would um, that would be fun to open that. I know. <laughs> I wonder if the person's going to keep it sealed or open it. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd be tempted to open it. That would be fun. I know. Thirty four ninety nine for that going to Riverview, Florida. Also to Florida. Okay. On In the razor drawer, two Nintendo Game Boy games, Street Fighter 2. Two games? No, that's the game uh, opened up. I opened oh, it up okay. to show the to I'm show just, the yeah, board. Yeah, I'm just looking at the little thumb. It looks like two games. It's in the razor drawer. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Right here. That's over thirty-four ninety-nine. It's going. Oh, I thought that was Alaska at first. AK is Arkansas, right? No. That's Alaska. That's Alaska. What? 
Yeah, we're done. Yeah, look, Nome, Alaska. Yeah, we're done. What? Yeah, AK is Alaska. Oh yeah, hand gosh. me a pen. This thing's finished. I'm, you know, I mean, yeah, it's done. All right, I'm gonna put it in. It's kind of sad. I know. What are we gonna do now? I know we're gonna figure out a new challenge. To you do. don't have to look at look at states on the orders anymore. I know. I guess. Look at that, hundred percent. Look, I mean, look. I I think when we guessed, I said three months. I think I said a month. Yeah. I think I did. It's been I less than a month. It's yeah. been what three weeks? A little over three weeks. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. cool. That's really good. Okay. To Charlie, lot of thirty-five Playmobil figures, animals, etc. Okay. And it is uh, it is war. It is warmer today. Like we're. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, turning that air conditioner on I, soon. Probably so. Yeah. Probably this afternoon. Yep. Those um sold for twenty six ninety nine. You got these from Bev, huh? I did, yes. We got some pretty good stuff from Bev. Yeah. For Delta we sold a pair of um taper candles, John Hardy. For, for Delta. Delta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made this is probably it. We made a few questionable purchases at an estate sale. Yeah, we were like, it wasn't junk drunk because it was good stuff. Whatever the fancy term is for junk. I don't know. Yeah, drunk. I don't know what we were doing that day. We we came home and like, I'm we thought we were killing it. And then we came home and started looking at stuff like, what? What did we do? I'm looking at stuff. Imani's runs in there. You got to come look at these candles. That's also where we got the Rolex paperweight. Right. And those heron plates that have all three sold. So, oh the, well those plates did oh i didn't know you got those there mm -hmm. those yeah. did well yeah but then we have for some reason we bought this crystal vase in oh, a box yeah. i think probably because it was in a box yeah uh who makes that uh some kind of it's that is it fabergé or something something like that yeah it's expensive it's crystal it's, it's heavy. super expensive it's but very no thick and heavy but I shouldn't. We should never bought that. We we paid a lot of money for that too. We paid like a hundred dollars for that or, or something. Seventy five or something. Oh, like that. it's crazy, man. <laughs> okay, are these the right candles though? Yeah, we only have one set. That's just taper. Um, they sold for twenty six ninety nine. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, whenever I pack these, I am going. I think I'm gonna wrap them. You think paper would be all right? Yeah, paper because the, um, they're beeswax, which is kind of soft. So if you put bubble wrap, it may leave impressions. Yeah, or, or foam, or, if we have any kind of foam. Yeah, I'll figure so. I just want to, I don't want them to bang it around in there right. the whole trip. Okay. Go ahead and sell that. All right, what else we got? Six Foxtrot, six pack of Airwick, and the, with the warmer Airwick, uh, fragrance stuff. Yeah. Six, eight, eight. <laughs> All right. They're this sold, thing right here. Yep, they sold for $21.99. So, Which so far. So far, we've bought this, this, and this from the two thousand dollar buy. Last item on eBay is in the Joe drawer. It's some Max L tapes, four of them. Well, uh, let me just figure out where Joe drawer is. All right, Joe is right here. These U D I I dash C D. Yeah, these are some high bias tapes. Yeah. Yep. That's sold for twenty dollars and sixty nine cents. Awesome. Okay. Right, we're gonna jump over to Macari. We sold a vintage Levi's um denim vest Sharpa line. So four Delta? It's four Echo. Four Echo. Okay. Most of our stuff is on uh maybe four Delta. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust the inventory location. It might be in this bag that says Sherpa on it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Unless it's a dog jacket. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, we'll yeah, open, open it up, open that and make sure, double check um, it. $40 for that. Okay, that's a good one. On Poshmark, we sold a pair of um, those shoes, from those new shoes in the box we had bought last summer. Um, they're actually in storage. Lonnie's going to go get them. Um, they are a pair of sandals in the box for $15. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up right now. All right, I was packing this, um, this set of candles here, and it's pretty long. It's like... This box is about 18 inches long. So I want to show you how I was doing this. So this is a 1210 four box. And I just put it here. And 
because it's it's long but also I, it's not very like wide I just drew a line here perforated down that way and did the same thing on the other side here and you can see that now it can fit just like this in a perfectly sized box and all I'll have to do at this point see if I once I do it like this you can kind of see it better now all I have to do at this point is uh, I'll leave these end flaps longer because that doesn't matter I'll have to trim these down uh, on the sides and then it'll be ready to go I'll show you all the finished product I almost forgot to show you all the finished product here it is that is uh, a 1210 box redone and man it is it's super strong whenever you make them this small they, they're super it's perfect uh this is going to macon georgia for 626 oh i need to stand up for a minute i've been sitting down for like what 45 minutes mm -hmm. editing i've only got like this is a long one too man this one is like over this one's an hour and three minutes we did a lot of talking yeah we talk too much sometimes <laughs> it's i mean it's not a bad video like right but, now we're just talking yeah uh what what are we to oh yeah okay so i made it through those two boxes i'm pulling some stuff we had just on the shelves and this is in there um it's a it's retail packaging you can see it's perforated right here for to make it a display and it has nine of these um boxes inside and each one has two posters and there's 10 designs two of them are a mystery but you can get two two of these designs inside oh, of one of these so, so you have 18 posters I have nine of these boxes so 18 posters in here let me see Ser series one oh it does say two posters mm -hmm. oh you know you know what it might be they might be double-sided uh i think it would say that huh I don't you wanna, would i don't want to open one up no heck no because i mean it's a full thing and there's not many of these it's, i mean it says two posters it doesn't say one double-sided poster I would yeah that would be pretty yeah that would be false advertising really. yeah i'm pretty sure yeah yeah okay so um no comps there's one active that somebody has and their box is not full and they're asking 30. so this is a situation where we just make up a price so i'm gonna list it how many do they have they had seven they're missing two out of theirs. They had seven? Yeah. And do they have the they have this box? Yes. Okay. So I'm just making up a price. I'm gonna go for fifty. We'll see what happens. Well, I think that's worth fifty. That's eighteen posters. I think it man. may be worth more, honestly, but I'll be happy with fifty. I think a lot of people just don't even know that exists. Right. Yeah. It's not old or anything. It it's it has Disney ba yeah, it's, it's, badging branding on it. Yeah, whatever. it's not that old. So um but the designs are really cool. Why, yeah. why are why are there not more of those on eBay though? I don't know. That's odd to me. Yeah. I really do like the designs. And I really Don't talk yourself in oh, look, I don't want you, you about to talk yourself into no, uh i would just want this one right here but i don't know which box has we'll it start right. open crack, crack, start cracking <laughs> them open they are please. all sealed so i'm not going to get the uh the poster i want so. i was just man this morning before you were out here i was looking somebody uh i need to answer him somebody asked about this this is candace's she's she's keeping that yes that it's it's actually really cool we picked that up at a garage sale there's a few more that I want. He did one of Alanis Morissette. I want that one. Um, yeah, Bob Bob Massey Ma is his name. Is it Ma yeah, it is. Is it Massey? Or Mass Massey? or something. I don't know. Yeah. This one, we can't even take it out the frame because I think it had, look, it's it's signed and number, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what that matters. But uh, we can't even really, I think, I think it got wet before we got it. Yeah. And I, I don't even, I think like the print... If we took it off the glass, it would kind of tear that. Yeah, here's tear the, the thing. Print up. Um, the reason that you should really mat your valuable stuff because it keeps it off the glass. Right, especially here in Louisiana, our humidity is really high. So yeah. just that high humidity will make the print. Even if it, stick. yeah, right. Even if it doesn't get wet, huh? Right, just the humidity in the air. Yeah, yeah you're so, right. Yeah, it's a shame somebody did that, but it's gonna live forever in that frame. Yeah, <laughs> it's it looks good. I like yeah, it. It's it's fine. It's cool. But I was looking at this man. Yeah. This uh, that is a cool cool piece. You know it that? It is. Yeah, it is. We, uh, we if, actually got that, and I I buy from Guy, 
Um, and I'm like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I'm not telling that. You no, know? man, I. And that was when Peter Mayhew was still he had he, was, he had passed away right after I got that. Right. And it, I mean, it was like, man, what's it going to be worth now? I'm not even going to look. You man, know? I just wish you. I wish we had all. Could you imagine having that with all four sigs on it? Yeah, it's too late to get them now. You know? Yeah, because two two of them are uh, dead. Well, his is on there. Yeah, Carrie Fisher. And, and I mean the. Uh, Harrison Ford is old. Yeah. I, I have no idea how. Mark Hamill is younger than Harrison Ford by probably a pretty good bit, but probably ten years. Or I don't so. know. I don't know what their difference is, but yeah, yeah, that's that's a cool. That's piece. a cool piece. Is that all we came on to talk about? No, your we're posters. Talking about my, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me get back to work. I'm gonna finish this thing <laughs> this up. This is how our videos end up an hour I'm, long. I'm pretty happy <laughs> though. Uh, the editing, like I was kind of worried. Because my computer's uh, 2019, and but editing fine. Uh, the the renders are going to take a little longer. The files are going to be bigger. The uploads are going to take a little longer. But man, the the 4K quality, wow! Yeah, it looks awesome. The colors look amazing. The colors look better. I'm just, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I really do. And it's been raining here all day, y'all. I, I went to storage, got the shoes, got the shoes out. Um. Actually, I had to bring some other stuff over to storage, too. Some personal stuff. Like, our Christmas tree was in the box, and we just hadn't even brought it yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's there. But, um, we went ahead and got two, uh, actually, I got three boxes. I only brought two in from the truck so far. Yeah. Because uh, we're flying through this stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of it's getting, going to the old donate pile. But, uh, I finished the posters and these are our per this, these are ours we do have some little scraps up here we need to just go ahead and eliminate yep. this is mostly empty like stuff these are empty boxes um this has some electronic stuff in okay it. it's like some computer motherboards or some technical stuff like that okay i'll check that out yeah but uh yeah we went ahead and got some more stuff to work through I think Candace is about to start working through some yarn over here. I am. I'm going to start sorting it. Um, I've been talking to somebody all day. We bought from them before. And um, I don't want to, I definitely don't want to kill the relationship. So she's been sending me pictures of stuff all day that we're potentially going to buy. And I've been comping it out throughout working and listing stuff. So, oh boy, it never stops. It and doesn't. I'm, I'm grateful this person reached out to us. Cause oh yeah, it never stops. It so. was good in the past. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and go through these two boxes real quick. Yep. Okay, I found an RCA video audio switcher with S-Video. That's actually kind of cool. Look, it's got four different inputs you could switch between. Of course, it's not HDI, HDMI or anything. Mm, Star Wars, what you got? Thank Man, you. there's so many flasks in I this know, stuff. I know, <laughs> This is a Gone with the Wind limited edition. Oh, it looks like the... DVD set or something, something soundtrack also. Okay. So um, let's see. Some Look, count. it's very limited though. There's only 150,000 of right. them made. How I, can you how can you call darn, something? I've listed a lot of seven of these today. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll keep one to write with. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, this is cool. Mickey what through is that? the years. What is it though? I don't know. Oh, it's a photo album kind of it's, it's kind of up. beat looking it's very beat looking um yeah. so look at it right up here yeah yeah it, it would probably be really good if it weren't for that because we always sell picture frames on uh, disney yep people they, get home sell. they don't want to spend the big money yankee candle uh refills for car scent that might be all right yep um some glasses yeah. i don't know what brand they are a lot of times the case doesn't match the glasses okay Polly, Polly Pocket. Pocket. Ooh, that could be good. Is Can it? Have we sold that before? Yes. The vintage stuff. This looks a little newer than what we had, but that doesn't mean it's not worth anything. Watch out. You might be squishing I one know. of the... You are. Look, you're squishing that person. I was trying to see where... Okay, I'll close that up in a minute so we can get moving. Well, it actually closed. Oh, here's another <laughs> cup to go with that. Now you got some string. Yep, some crochet thread. Oh, it's thread. Y'all, yeah, I'm supposed to be learning to crochet... Here you go. Here's I'm, Aunt Lydia. I'm supposed to be, I have never done it before, and I ordered this thing to start a blanket, and every month they send you some more of the blanket to do, and I haven't started it. I was supposed to start it January 1st. This reminds me, um, 
Candace, a, a long time ago, I bought a bunch of French mm -hmm. French Embroidery. thread yep. like this yep. in boxes. It was good money. Yeah, I was selling them for like 20 bucks per thing like this. Yep. And I had like 20 of them or something. Oh, we more. may or may not have a game in it. These are cool. Have you ever seen those? It looks like it expands out, but what's the point of it? It's a bowl. Oh, it's a bowl. Yeah. For what? To put stuff in. <laughs> huh? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, good. okay. Yeah. All right. That's interesting, huh? Okay, I was trying to figure out how it... It's signed or whatever by whoever made it. Okay. May or may not go to be good. Yeah, we have no idea on, on this Launch stuff. Some kind of laundry bag. Hmm. Or it says laundry bag. I don't know if that's what it is. It is. Dancer's, Dancer's laundry. laundry. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, BB-8 ornament. BB-8 never really, never really hit it big. I don't Master think. Master lock. Look at. Oh, that's a hitch lock, huh? Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm that's exactly what that is. Okay. All right. Here's some more of those fragrance things. Hitch lock with the keys. That might be worth a little something. Yeah. It probably isn't though. That stuff is. And then this, I think, is just an empty. Yeah, empty case. Empty bucket. Yep. All right, let me put this stuff in here and we'll go through the other box. Okay, let's see what this other box brings us. This is, oh, this is a big heavy one. Is it? Let yeah. Oh, it is. That's Man. Nordic wear. Yeah, um, let's see. As long as there's the, okay, so. That's a good time. Look, I think, there, is there some cake right here? Oh, it is. Sometimes when you get Nordic wear, it does have cake still attached to it because they're hard to, <laughs> to clean off. <laughs> well, I, it just came off of my finger. That's oh, really, that's some what really. What flavor oh, is it? I'm not eating <laughs> I'm not going to try it. So, would you want to make sure um, there's no, like, scratches in the coating and stuff? Or uh, corrosion, probably, huh? See, like, the outside is typically going to have scratches because even I do... I'll put mine on a towel, but when you put your batter in there, you want to bang it and get the bubbles out. Mm -hmm. So, or just from moving it around. But That's a big one, man. It is. It's to make the 3D bunny and the 3D egg. Oh, so you put the two halves together. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember I have a skull one I did that with one yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that. It yeah. Actually, that came out pretty good, it if did. I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. that That's probably decent, huh? I don't know. Some Nordic wear is really good, and some is not worth selling. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's... Hey, look. Hey, I've sold hard hats like that before. McDonald? This... I've that... so... Yeah. Mine safety appliances. Yeah, I've sold one, like, very similar to this. Okay. I uh, actually like actually like got a little bit excited. Right, we have a bag of flatware. Okay. Uh, Charming Charlie's. Charming Charlie necklace. Okay. A chocolate rabbit. This was eighteen dollars. Look at this. <laughs> Man, that looks real. Though. I know. Last year I three D printed one for Molly, um, out of that same color, and it looked like a real little chocolate rabbit. Hmm. Another flask. Oh my gosh. Ed Hardy. Okay. There are a few is, raindrops. It's metal. Oh, it's a like a salt or pepper shaker. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe there's another one in there. Well, here's the stand, and here's the other one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Those are cool. They look like little gas station pumps. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with Coca Cola stuff. These are metal, at least. So. What does that say? That says uh, Pelton Brothers and Company, or Pelton Bros and Company, quadruple plate, St. Louis. So I guess silver plate. Silver plate. It doesn't look know. silver though. It's okay. kind of pewterish. It's kind of nice though. Baby kind of aviator glasses. Baby aviators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some kind of remote. Oh, that looks like the one for our TV, kinda. It's a smart TV. It's close. Right? Yeah. But Texas hold them in a the package. <laughs> All right. You're not going to do much betting with those chips. Yeah, but if in a pinch, though. All right. We have a treasure chest. Treasure chest. Treasure. Or what? What do you? What do we have here? <laughs> a treasure chest. A treasure chest. Treasure chest. All right. With treasure some little trash. angels in it. That might be decent. Maybe. 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 Looks fancy. Another remote. Okay. These look like decent remotes, really. Well, oops, right. that one's broken. Tupperware tumblers. Are those good? I don't know. They may be. I've never looked those up. Well, at least you have like 
a little a bunch of them this is a bank from a bank oh a we've sold that kind of stuff before yeah. and it's metal that's kind of neat yeah it's like the liberty bell with the crack in it huh mm -hmm. uh central fdsc okay cool another laundry bag was is that dancing again yeah all right maybe you could sell two of them together if although they're probably not even worth selling I don't man think. this looks like it came off a nutcracker huh Ooh, that is a nutcracker arm for sure because nutcrackers love doing uh mushrooms and look is that a honey thing yeah or something okay um a little motorcycle die cast okay some kind of whisk is a duck call oh that's exactly yeah sure shot no look sure shot crow call oh that's cool that is cool huh it's got like a reed in it i don't know why you wouldn't call crows do people hunt crows? so you could count them <laughs> or eat them no count them eating you crow? don't eat no you don't eat crows crows you never heard that saying? yeah i have <laughs> okay have you ever heard of counting crows though? i have <laughs> uh, we have a bottle opener and some measuring spoons crows are so smart man I, I, these are already done that's it also, crows are so smart i would want to eat one but then whenever i get into that like oh well i don't want to get into that cows are smart i know that's what i'm saying like chickens are not smart if i really yeah but why does that even matter like why why do you have to give your why would i want to give my food an iq test anyway <laughs> like why does it matter like can you do like can, can you do can can you do a uh, calculus or not if you could do calculus i want to eat you if you can't then i might Unless you're playing rec soccer team. <laughs> what? <laughs> I watched what, you mean in the mountains? Yeah, I watched a movie about that the other day. <laughs> Did you? What, what was it called? Oh, gosh. Uh, the S Society of the Snow. That's It's a true story, right? Yeah, the soccer team from South America somewhere, Chile or somewhere, crashed yeah. in the Andes Mountains. Yeah. They had to to survive. Yeah, so, I mean, were, it's not like they started doing it like two hours after no, they no, crashed. No. They huh? were they were stranded in the like in the snow, like I'm talking freezing temperatures for two like over two months. Oh. And all they had was like the whole of their airplane, a part of the airplane. And I guess they must have had access to fire firewood or something. No. Well, how did they stay? How did they, they not freeze? They huddled up in that uh in that co that airplane, and they had clothes and stuff. Okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. Well, that's not really something we should we normally like talk about. I don't know. All right. All right. Let's let's. let's. Okay. Well, th this this is like there's still some there's still some donate stuff here, but I I, I see potential in this box. Yeah. I do. I think this is going to be listable. This. I think bell, this. The crow call. I think the bell and the crow call. The Tupperware. Maybe a maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. get to listing. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. Morning, Candace. Hey, good morning. Okay, so. <laughs> Let me go over the board first, then we'll okay. tell them. Okay. All right. Uh, momentum board time. We actually did get our number of listings in. We needed, we wanted to hit 19 a day, and we hit 20 yesterday. So that's good. Uh, I, re I refigured the numbers. We have 266 listings for the month. We need 360. We still need 19 a day yes that hasn't changed uh and then actually it's like 18.8 .8, but you know yep. 19 uh we did hit the money goal yesterday as we thought we might and uh yeah i mean things are looking pretty good we just need to continue with list, list, list. listing enough things a day for five days yeah should i tell them what's going on today yeah go ahead Okay, yeah, so pretty, pretty excited actually. So you know, we just bought out this whole eBay store, and we said we're good for at least a couple of months. We don't need to buy inventory. I got a message yesterday. Right. This is someone that we bought from a couple of times. Some good stuff, good prices, and I want to keep that relationship going. So I could not say no. Well, I I don't think for this kind of buy, I don't think we would ever say no unless we were willing right. to let let the relationship go. Like that's the thing. I found whenever you form these relationships with people that want to supply you with stuff. You have to be like on the spot. Yes, I'm ready. I'm coming. I'm buying it. Right. Um, That's what they want. The thing I love about the way they do it, they just, they text me pictures and I go through the pictures and comp and I tell them what I'm, in, what I'm interested in. 
and then they get my list and um they shoot me they shot me a price and it was good so yeah, yeah we're going to pick all that stuff up today um this afternoon and when we get back we're going to show y'all what we bought yeah it's uh it's pretty cool it's a couple of nice ladies that are doing it and uh yeah C candace just does her text thing with them and yeah it's and fun it's yep. yep and they meet pretty local so it's a win-win for all of us all right so we do need to get started pulling orders um, okay Let's go ahead and we have started. a total of I think 13 items going on eBay. It was another odd kind of odd sales day. Yeah, sales have been a little sluggish. Um, this this week. This I mean I guess we're, we're not listing top notch inventory that doesn't help. Right. However, uh, the stuff we're that's another reason we're going to get the stuff we're going to get. There is some top notch inventory there yeah. that we can mix in with the not quite so desirable stuff we've been listing. Right. So yeah let's go okay um we sold the three Irwin hammers i listed them yesterday and they sold uh five echo left okay try to go yep hammer time <laughs> sold those for 21 plus ship next order has two walmart pens 272 and 201 okay let's see how many boxes do i need two boxes Walmart pen started selling steady again. We need oh, to find some more. It's at springtime, like shareholders meeting is coming. Oh, isn't that funny how we know the, <laughs> you know the ins and outs of the Walmart Walmart's business because of we have these pens. All right, two seven two and two oh one. Two oh one. That's what I'm going for here. Let's see. Must be right here. I hope. Uh, yep. Okay. Two oh one is uh. Cape Coral, Florida, store 819. Yeah, it's a manatee on it. Yeah, that one's neat. And then 272. 272 is... Look at that. That's a Valentine's Day one. That one's neat. It has the uh, hearts on it yep. and a card. Yep. Okay. We went and saw the, some manatees in Florida last December. We went camping at the state park where they come in for the winter. It, it was pretty... It was pretty wild. It was amazing. I didn't know. I didn't know something like that existed in yeah, Florida. It was amazing. That's it it was kind of like uh, it was in like brackish water, right? It was brackish water, but very blue, very clear water. Yeah. And um, when it's cold, they just migrate into these warm springs. These springs maintain a constant temperature year round. I think it's like seventy something or whatever. So yeah, they come in for that, and it's cool. They're just like sea cows gliding. And they're around. just they go. They're huge, and they yes. just. Yeah. it's kind of ominous really it's cool um those two pens sold together for 1998 by the way <laughs> and we're not doing states because we did all the states yeah we're going to, have to figure out something else to do now <laughs> okay we sold a reel to reel on five bravo right return of james bond and diamonds are forever five bravo right oh um you're gonna you're gonna see quite a few older things selling today all right trying to get to this on the very bottom you're gonna see a lot of older stuff selling today or uh longer tail things i guess because i'll put them like this so i don't have that problem what was it maybe i'll slide them over here a little bit there we go because um i put a ton of stuff on sale i did a i ran a promotion started a promotion yesterday now i don't have anywhere to put this i guess i can put it here i'm good i started a promotion yesterday uh well two promotions i did one filter that was anything 90 days or older i think yeah that's and cool. worth 20 dollars or more that's the filter i did mm -hmm. i did 25 percent off sale yeah and then i did anything seven dollars up to 14.99 and listed 90 days or longer i did 10 percent off on and so i ended up putting like it was probably like 1500 items in the store on sale oh wow so yeah, yeah that's why we that's a lot of the a lot of the reason we sold it you know what we sold yesterday okay so. well, that ended up selling for 37 dollars and 49 cents 
We sold some more of those Duracell batteries, the lithium batteries on 9 Delta, another three pack. There should be three sets left. Yeah, this is, y'all can see these were on sale. Should have three sets. Yep, that looks right. I think there's nine left in there. $16.49. Okay. A lot of 12 Girl Scout badges, patches, and the alien drawer behind you. These yeah. are old. They're from like the 30s, 40s. You can tell by the color of the um, the patch, the green color. It's more silvery. Does this look right? Like there's a pair of scissors here. Oh, let me see. Let me I just want to make sure we don't have... I don't think I did more than one lot. Yeah, that's them. Okay. There should be a big uh, pat square one in there. There is. It says like be prepared. Yes. Yeah. $18.74 for those. Pocket 97 Topper Dawn Silver Purse. I didn't know we had any more little Topper Dawn stuff left. I, we probably and we probably still have some more. Yeah. Now I gotta go one more over. I can't really see that one too well. Okay, here we go. Yep, this little purse right here. Thirteen dollars and forty nine cents. Okay. We sold a Lounge Fly Toy Story backpack. Yeah, those are up here. Uh, what, what do we have? Like one left, maybe? We should have three left. Really? Yeah. No, four. Wait, where are they at? Are they up there? Let's get up there and check real quick. This inventory, because we haven't inventoried that yet. We have an inventory. Yeah, let me go pop up there and look. Okay, I did hop up there and check. We only have two left, so we yeah. got to just... We, we started with eight. We have sold some on other platforms, and because... There were so many and they weren't like selling really fast. I probably got lazy a couple times. So I'm going to update the inventories everywhere. Um, that one sold for $26.24. The, ne the next order has three items on it. And the JoJo Final Fantasy 11. Okay. Xbox 360. Got it right here. And the Beverly Jor. Ninja Gaiden 2, Xbox 360. Is it Gaiden or Gaiden, you think? I don't know. Okay, got it. And then one Echo, the Hot Wheels Wood Racer kits. Both of them? Yeah. I've listed them together. Okay. Well, I mean, of the of the stuff we got from that big buy that we're, we've listed... I, it's selling pretty well. I mean, yeah. we seem to be selling a few things a day. Yep. That's so good. Those three things together, $34.37. All righty. Good. So my first yarn for a Foxtrot Y5. Stop me if you heard this one. The <laughs> yarn. You're spinning a yarn. Okay. Yeah. Where is it again? For a Foxtrot Y5. Okay. This is a yarn box. Four Foxtrot Y5. Okay, got it. And my plan for shipping these, Candace is storing them in these poly bags, and then I'm gonna put this poly bag in another poly bag, mm -hmm. and they'll be double protected. Send it. Yep. yep. Nineteen ninety nine for this. We sold a Barbie doll in the box for Bravo Wright Diamond Dazzle. Four Bravo Right Diamond Dazzle right here. Is it missing something? <laughs> no, it, I showed and talked about it. Her ring is like fell down. It's down here. It's a big ring. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I put in the title Bad Box. Like, uh, yeah. Um, so it's over $14.99. Alrighty. And then while we we're pulling orders, we sold another Walmart pen. So we're <laughs> going to get that out. 116. One, one, six. Right, all the way at the bottom here. Oh. Yeah, it's Walmart pen season. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. Man, one you can you picture one day we're gonna pull the last Walmart pen? I can't picture it. I, I, I can't, but it's coming, I guess. Alright, which one is it? Uh one one six. One one six. All right. 116, store number 1252, Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Yep. 
That sold for $8.99. Alrighty. So, I mean, I'm telling y'all, when we left the shed yesterday, I think, I think we had one order. I don't think we had any. Yeah, we did because we sold the hammers yesterday. Okay. During the day. But I think when we took off, when we got off yesterday, I think that's the only order we had at like six o'clock. I think pretty much everything up here, or I think everything up here sold after six o'clock. Yeah. And a lot of stuff in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so well, I, it's fine. No matter, no matter when they come. I, It's a more comfortable sales day when by the time we get off, we've already sold two, three hundred dollars right. and like eight things or something you know what i mean like you can sleep easy right right you know what i mean yeah it's all I, I find it stressful when i see one thing that's sold after like 12 hours yeah so yep. but we ended up making a little comeback here let me get this stuff packed okay we are back from uh well we went to went to go pick up the stuff and then we went to we went and got us some popeye's sandwiches those are so good and then we went to uh, storage to pick up a couple of things that are going out tomorrow. They don't have to ship till tomorrow, so we're good with that. Uh, you ready to show them? I am. So everything we're about to show you, we paid three hundred and eighty-five. Eighty-five total. Yeah. Um, we just, I told her, like I said, I told her everything I was interested in, and she shot me a price. Okay. Um, so the now these things here, the packaging is pretty much rough on everything. So, uh, some of it. I mean, yeah. it's not horrible. Yeah. It would. It's not rough like I would normally say rough, but it's some of it is. Yeah. Okay. This is a King Gray Skull Master Masterverse, uh, Master Universe Masterverse. A lot of people. I've actually seen a lot of be like, when we were looking these up. These. This is like fifteen. Fifteen dollar yeah. thing. Uh, a lot of people are selling this for that same price uh, without the box. Kind of how we did the Monster Highs. They just slide this out and they, they sell it with just the inner packaging instead of the outer to save on shipping, I guess. I, I might consider that too. I yeah, know. I mean, if somebody wants them just to display up on a shelf. Because the only reason, I, well, you know what? If this would fit, I don't think it'll fit in the 1210 four though. It, it is an odd size, yeah. You have a tape measure handy? measure that measure this dimension here yeah that's over 10 it's like 10 and a half yeah 10 and three quarters i mean i could what, what's this other dimension i'm I'm interrupting our haul with this 12 okay yeah, yeah. we'll see I, I'm, i'll probably just do them in the box yep so we have um six of those okay um this is a this box is really rough um, this is Star Trek Enterprise Broken Bow Deluxe. Okay. Uh, Dale Earnhardt, I've never heard of these, Dale Earnhardt action figure. And they did a sportsman's collection. He's wearing like camo and stuff. I know. They, and they have different ones. They have like the turkey hunter, the deer hunter. They have one of him riding a four-wheeler. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's, <laughs> man, they went so crazy with Dale Earnhardt stuff. Yeah. It doesn't I, even look that old either. No. Who is G this? G.I. Joe, uh, Army football player. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that box is that a little... That box is rough. He's never been removed from the packaging, but the box is not collector worthy. Right. Yep. Uh, we have some more Masterverse, uh, two Battle Cats. We sold this stuff before. We're, we're, we know what... I you think know. the ones we had were smaller. Yeah, but I, I just mean that line. Yeah. That line in general is not super... This Super is the valuable. deluxe version there. Oh, deluxe. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, we have two of these um, sets here. There's another one in the car that's just the inner packaging. I forgot to grab it. So we have three sets, two of them in the full box and one with just the um, inner packaging. That packaging's cool looking. I know it's I know it's modern, but it, yeah. it, it looks kind of old school. You know what? They screwed up. They they didn't put good packaging on this line. No, that's bad packaging. I think that that is part of the reason why yeah. it didn't do well. Probably the show just didn't do well too. So okay, I think Lonnie's gonna go ahead and get these things listed. It'll be real quick, and then we'll bring some more in to show y'all. Yep. Okay, Candace is continuing to list the two thousand dollar store buy. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, we've been getting a ton of donate lately. Look how 
cool this little recipe box is. I love the colors on it. Yeah, that's neat. This is a good little piece, and I it, think. And it has some recipes in it. So, I th yeah, I think that'll be good. Yeah, that kind I just, of stuff. I love sells. the colors, though. It's nice, bright. Oh, that's so 70s, man. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, we brought in some more stuff. Lonnie got all that stuff listed. Yeah, everything. I, what? It wasn't long. 45 uh, minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it was fast. Uh, these are all my listings I got just from that. Some and, of them uh, are multi-quantity. Yeah, but I only gave myself, for the multi-quantity ones, I only gave myself one listing. Right. So, uh, I think this one and this one are multi-quantity, and maybe yeah. maybe this one. So, But anyway, that comes up to two, what y'all saw, saw so far, uh, $207 in listings uh, plus shipping. So, she had every, she, she, they always pack everything so well for us. I love it. I don't have to worry about things getting broken. She, she look at this big box she sent stuff in and um she wrapped things but look she she wrapped this in this wrapping paper to keep it safe look how funny this paper is i know that's today's show yes <laughs> i thought that was so funny so you think we could sell this on ebay uh yeah sure candace <laughs> we could sell anything that's funny. <laughs> okay i'm gonna set that over here um so she she okay so when we, we sent the whatever i wanted last night and she sent back pictures again showing the stuff that she had that i wanted with her price and um the price was good enough that she had included some other things so we we're like we'll just take them you know right. like things i didn't originally say i wanted like out of these three boxes i didn't want this one but she sent it anyway okay so uh monsters um so that, they, these are all fairly yeah they're probably repops i'd imagine um, this one wasn't even a lunchbox. I think it came with some golden books in it. Okay. Oh, that one's kind of neat. Yeah. That, well, that looks old, but it's 1999. It looks older than that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like these, I didn't, she just threw them in there. I didn't ask yeah, for Yeah, we're not going to be able to sell that. Okay. Then she wrapped these up. Let's see what's in here. If y'all saw, if y'all were watching the video the other day where you had that book, something about, uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is, I think, at least $100. It's a um, it's a Japanese book about brook shields. It's a basically a picture book. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's a lot of Japanese books out there um about brook shields, and they're good money. They have a thing for brook shields, huh? Oh, they uh, did. In okay. The 70s. Okay. I got story time with Lonnie. All right. So last <laughs> night, <laughs> speaking of Japanese, not not speaking of brook shields, but speaking of oh, Japanese and women, so. I'm in a group chat with a couple of my friends. Y'all know them, Justin and Ryan. Okay, a lot of y'all know them. Um, Justin used used to go by RVA Flips on YouTube. Ryan still goes by Thrift Mine on YouTube. Well, we've been friends for years, and we're in a we're in like a Facebook chat. Okay, and then we have another chat, which is us three and all of our wives for when we like want to plan some like a trip or something like that or just want to all talk to each other or whatever we do it there so i'm in the living room watching tv last night uh actually i'm watching youtube on tv and i start watching i always like watching videos about japan about life in japan and whatnot and i watch a video where a dude's you know he's going on a bullet train in japan i like trains a little bit too so it kind of works dude was about to get on a train and the train said women only on the door. And he goes on to explain that they have this problem on crowded trains in Jap Japan where when the train cars get really crowded, dudes will just like be trying to grab cheap feels <laughs> on women, groping women on crowded trains. Like it's a thing. Yeah. Which is which is wild because I, I, I wouldn't have never expected that. It, it surprised me that that's an issue. So now they have female only train cars to try and combat that. I thought they I thought for the most part that Now this is like the public transportation, not like the bullet train that goes that No, he was on another train mm -hmm. to get to the bullet train. Okay. Like the the local public transportation. Yes. Okay. Yes. So anyway, I'm like, man, I never knew they had the problem like that there. And so anyway, I go I open up my phone and I'm like, man, did y'all know that, did y'all know that, uh, now I'm watching a video and I explain, you know, they have this 
problem with men groping women on trains in Japan. And then I put my phone down. I start watching it again and bing, I hear my phone. I'm like, pick it up. And, I'm like, and then I think it's Justin's wife, I think. And she goes, oh, we're going to Japan now. I'm like, oh, crap. Wrong chat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, honey, you need to be careful. I don't know what y'all talk about, but you may not want some wives to know. Make sure you put that, stuff in the right chat. <laughs> that's one of the weirdest things I, I say, actually. Yeah, And I'm I sure. happen to put it in the I'm wrong. sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wrong chat. Sorry. Ha, ha, ha. And yeah. I tried to explain it all. And I said, okay, I'll see myself out now, whatever. Yeah. So, great story, huh? Yep. Okay. This is a little book. I think it's a cookbook. Yeah. It's a little Cajun humor. But it's like funny recipes, I think. Hey, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Look at the swamp band. Sounds of the swamp. Yeah. That's a neat book. And I like the last name of the author, too. You know, you're that might be something to give your brother. Yeah. He might like it. Yeah. It's really cool. Look how it looks brand new. It does. It looks brand new. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be book, book time, y'all. Yeah, well, one of our book times. We have another thing with books, too. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's the bookshelf. We already looked at that. Okay. okay. Um, this is by John Fulce. Hot beignets and warm boudoirs, and it is signed. What is a boudoir? Um, it's like a women's um dressing area, bedroom. Uh huh. So what? So what was this dude? That's creepy, right? This is um uh, recipes from bed and breakfast. Okay. So. So, but, but the way you describe what a boudoir Maybe what was, I think boudoir is is not. Like, I why is John Fulce waiting for us in the boudoir? And he's got a cup of coffee with this creepy grin on his face, too. You see that? I know. <laughs> Look at that. He's standing by the bed with this creepy grin on his face. I've been waiting. <laughs> uh, he's a local chef, though, that's yeah. kind of a big deal, I guess. I don't yeah, know. he's pretty good. Um, Lego Space Built in the Future, hardcover book. All right, we have some cookbooks. Uh, Louisiana Proud Collection of Home Cooking Times Two. This Look, is... they have different bindings on them. I know. Pots, Pans, and Pioneers, Volume Four. That's a phone company book. That's probably like a twenty-dollar book. I don't know what these are. Uh, Cane River Cuisine Times Two. Cane River's Louisiana Living. All right, these are all books. Uh, Clementine Hunter. I think she was a paint, a painting uh, artist painter. <laughs> she was an artist. You um, can be a painter. Yeah, not like a house painter. Right, I understand. Yeah, and then uh, these are just some little pamphlets. I think about her maybe. So that would make a really nice little lot, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Now this is not. This is about Natchitoches. That might go with. You're one not of saying those. that right. It's Natchitoches. 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 <laughs> yep. Okay. So She's, yeah, that's a little Clementine. They underline. always have some interesting books. They do. Um, and then these are, um, she said they were Big Mama's, Big Mama cookbooks. Uh -huh. I've I I never heard of that. I only see that on this one though. Big Mama's Back in the Kitchen, The Black Family Reunion Cookbook, and an African American cookbook. Yep, so that might be another lot. That might be a lot, unless, I mean, we'll have to look them up though. Some of these might be good. Yep. And then uh, Natchitoches, uh, just like Did a you look that up? That's right here? Yeah. No, I didn't even want this. She one. included that. Yeah. Some of it, like Candace said, some of this... She just threw in. Candace comped every single thing. Yeah. So... I if, told her exactly which books I wanted, and she just threw some more in there. A so. pretty good many, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I guess... Uh, we're gonna... put the, let me put these back in the box, and we'll bring some more stuff in. Because I don't want to drag this out over more than one day. Okay. Okay, next round. This is some more of that, um, was it Sun what? Sun Man, or I don't know. But I listed two sets of those in the packaging uh, for 20 a pop. So, I mean, I'll probably try and get 15 for that one. Yeah, this was not something I wanted. She just, when we showed up, they had it for us. Right. Um, collectible little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's got like this lunchbox, like a gar it's like a garbage truck. It's got movies. It's got DVDs and glasses. Tur okay. uh, masks, turtle masks. That's cool. Yep. Right. Barney B. Brooks Jr. I don't know who that is. Um, the comps are pretty decent. However, I mean, keep in mind we're dealing off picture, so I didn't see this damage. I don't know how that's going to affect the. It, um, it won't help it. No. LSU Potato Head. Yeah. Okay. This is a Funko uh, Darth Vader T-shirt. Yeah. We. You know what though? We have some. 
we we made a pretty big Funko buy a mm -hmm. while back. Not pretty big. It's like I, what three hundred five hundred dollars. I can't yeah. remember. But for whatever reason, we sold just about all of it. Yeah. For whatever reason, we still have these masters, these two Masters of the Universe sets that have T-shirts on them. Yeah, and a pop. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't sold. I don't know why. Isn't either. that weird? I don't get it. Yeah. So whenever I see that T-shirt over there, I'm like, uh oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we have another one. And yes, I know Funko is not good in but, general. I mean, this is just a t-shirt. Um, oh, that's all it is, is a t-shirt? Yeah, it's got like a, you know, scene from Empire Strikes Back. Okay. Um, this is a Wesson Oil mayonnaise maker, and it's got the little directions down in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I guess you put your ingredients in there, and then you just kind of do it like, kind of like... Uh, Almost like churning butter, but not yeah. quite. But you're going up and down instead of around. Right. Yeah. Uh, Walking Dead board game. Really, I was surprised. This is not bad. What? What did? What was? I it? don't remember. You know, I comped like fifty things I yesterday. I do not remember. Yeah. Um, Stan Lee etch a sketch. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. And then this is a Avengers mystery box. Is from... that a live? Is that a live auto there? No. That's... I'm gonna have to contact uh, an expert and see if that's real or that not. That film actually goes over the <laughs> whole thing. It looks like it got moved. Oh, uh, okay. And then uh, Culture Fly Avengers um, Mystery Box. What'd you say? A what? Culture Fly well, Avengers what is Mystery Box. What is Culture Fly? It's a, it's a company that does mystery boxes. Okay. Yeah. yeah have you heard of that before? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. Okay. These are some vintage uh, pennants. Yeah. Um, from like the 60s. We have Kansas City Chiefs. They're not, they're not huge money. They're okay. Uh, one thing I do, I do know about these is yeah, you tell see, them that. see how that's a two bar or double bar face mask there when you see the one bar ones this one is from 1961 this one is from 1967 the date the date is on this one this one does not have a date but the the, the helmet you'll see in a lot of um pennant listings people will put one bar in the title yeah and that's what they're referring to as a face mask and that Buffalo Bills, it's, it's got a little... It's got damage. It's got a little how you doing right there. Yep. But uh, it's also a single bar. This one, I think that also might say 1967. I think it does too. Maybe they, maybe that was printed before they changed them. Um, she showed, this one has damage. It's not as bad as it looked in her picture. Because she showed like this tear, but it's still, the piece is still there. Uh, okay. So you can hang it up. You could kind of put tape on the backside of it and you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Okay. Not, not, I, no, I'm not saying that we would do that. What I'm saying is whoever buys it could do that for right. display. I, right. would, I would never try and, uh, I try and make our stuff look as bad as possible. I think when we list it. I'm going to set those on here. Okay. Maybe. And uh, we're going to bring in some more stuff. It's hilarious. Candace just opened this smaller box, and there you. Here's the Today Show paper again. We'll go through it with y'all. You didn't even ask for that, did you? I don't think so. The uh, little Yoda. What's his name? Grogu. Grogu bucket hat. Yeah. That's kind of cool though. Yeah. Oh, it's reversible. Oh, look! It's got a bunch of little Grogu's on the other side. These are Carhartt hats. New. Okay. Oh, those are interesting. Yeah. They're real. They're kind of floppy. I guess, well, they're lightweight. They're probably made mm -hmm. for, like, working outside, you know? Yeah, it'd be kind of breathable. A couple yeah. of Carhartts. What is that cut? What did I say? Oh, so, we, something some forced. Kind of crawfish thing here. Huh? Did she use that just... Oh, is that a crawfish bucket hat? What Look is that? a chef's hat. Look how cool. Huh? Well, get out of it. What? <laughs> that is cool. Look this at that. This is part of the box. She just used it to... Uh, she used it to cushion something? Yes. It's really, actually really cool. Only in Louisiana would you would that happen, huh? <laughs> this is cool. Um, Chanel. This is a pen set. By uh, it's called Perfume Writing Pens. I guess they smell probably smelled at one point. Like Do they Chanel, still? I, I can't smell anything. And then this is a um, Chanel. I don't want to damage the box even more. Kaleidoscope. Yes. These are pretty decent money. There's a lot of them out there. See, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm show them. I'm gonna see if I can get in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, check that out. That's yeah. kind of oh wow, <laughs> Candace. Look, yeah. look at this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 
Okay, the rest of this video will be filmed. <laughs> look, I could look, I could I put your head right in the middle of it. It's great. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, do the rest of the haul now. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make them dizzy. Okay, <laughs> let me look at it because this is uh this is pretty decent money, at least a hundred bucks. Probably um, at right at a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's got some little trinkets in there to help with the prism effect or whatever. There's a uh, there's it's kind of valuable because it's Chanel. However, there is one issue. There's like currently one that is sold in the past two years. Well, no, that was on active, so that was 90 days. 90 days? Yeah, so It wasn't 200. on active, it was on the regular well, eBay yeah, site. Yeah, not on Terrapico, on the regular site. Okay, okay. And so, then there's like six actives right now. Yeah, so the one that sold was 200, but then there's some others that are like 100 and up. So I don't know why they got 200. Maybe there happened to be none listed at the time. But then we see a lot of older comps when you go back. Mm -hmm. They didn't, it never really sold for 200 yeah. very often. So it's probably a $100 thing. Yeah, and it does help that we have the little box. So, right. Yeah. How much were the pens worth? These look old. They 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 were only like fifteen twenty bucks. Okay. No, huh. I thought it would be better than that. All right, this is gonna be um, new zippers. Yeah. Not. They are new with the box, which is awesome, but they're some of them aren't the best. Yeah. Zippos. But still, you still can get fifteen dollars for even. Now we do. Now that, yeah, that's that was a decent one there, Jack Daniels. Although I think Jack Daniels was only fifteen. Also, see, like, look. See, I didn't see this one. Look how cheesy that is. License to carry small arms. Yeah. Um, Kiss my donkey. Yeah, I mean that's kind of cheesy, There's right? There's a lot of souls in this donkey one. I know, but or not. I know. It, um, that's cool. It's like a Nordic guy. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. They are brand like you'll never go too bad go buying new Zippos though. I don't know what that is. I don't either. It's neat. Yeah, that's a cool looking one. Yeah, some we only saw three of these. Now that's just a. Oh, uh, where's the lid? It, it never had one because it's form fits. Yeah. What the heck? Double guess, torch. Butane lighter insert. Okay, so this goes into a case. See? Oh, it's like a replacement. Okay. Just hmm. some flame height fits all regular Zippo lighter kit refillable. Oh, it's butane. Instead of I just change out your spark, what do you call it, flint? Yeah, but it's butane is not. Is that what lighter fluid is? Is butane? I think, but I think the the um, mechanism for the lighting is different. Like that comes out like a torch. Right. This is under pressure. Right. But I think they do use butane. the same fluid. No, I think I think the but you, you know what I'm talking about the little. The remember the butane, or do you remember the like the little little cans that are like this tall, and you. Do you, you do what? <laughs> it's under pressure, in okay. other words, and it, like I I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Okay, let's let's look at some more stuff. Okay. Okay, so there's other things after we cut the deal. She sent me these pictures this morning, and she's like, "What do you think?" And I kind of looked at some comps. Some stuff is can be like five dollars per books. I saw a few that were maybe $30 per book. She said, would you take them all for 35? And I, I really didn't want to pay that much, but to keep that re good relationship, I told her yes. And y'all, she was so grateful. She, she said, yeah, she was like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like she's <laughs> glad to be rid of them. What, what, you, did you regret saying yes after she said that? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I, actually, I think we're doing okay on these. I didn't realize. I didn't have too much to do with the whole for, thing. For, they're mostly price guidebooks, and there's some really cool ones. So, um, like these two are by Blade Magazine. Blade uh, collecting. This is only on case knives, and this is just a general handbook of knives. See, if they weren't worth much, we could lot them together, maybe. Yeah, a lot of these will probably end up in lots. Like and, that whole stack is fishing lures. Huh? Yeah, fishing lures and reels. So, classic fishing lures, volume one of plugs fishing tackle somebody um, would buy that the fluger heritage fishing lore collectibles volume one and then another um fishing lore collectible see like i would be surprised if we can't sell that whole stack right for what we paid for all the books this is some miscellaneous stuff that's um, probably i bet that's going to be the pile that ends up not being that great right this is just like oh it's cool though it's got 
It shows advertising pieces for soda. Remember back when they used to put prices in books? Oh yeah. Before, it, before that's what I told her I said because of the internet these things are probably not worth much you know right um he some of them might be though because like they, they'll they'll still have the items in them and maybe some information on the items mm -hmm. and people just like to read and look at stuff they're interested in this is just a little scholastic book about world war ii we should give that to your mom <laughs> she loves world war ii yep she watches world war ii hollywood posters the... autographs and memorabilia okay so it's just it's like old hollywood posters that might it might surprise us though yeah you never know it's still reference material even if the prices aren't valid guide to gas station memorabilia so signs pumps uh what do you call the globes on top globes yeah. i think um now these things i didn't know about this is uh she she had this last time that i passed 300 is that like the movie it's like a, yeah, it's a graphic hardcover book yeah did you ever look it up I think I did. Okay. If you didn't want it, it probably wasn't worth it. And then this is a book about U.S. coins. Okay. So, um, all right. We have toy books, um, American tin litho toys, post-war uh, post tin toys, and Greenberg's Guide to Mark's Toys. Did you look any of those up? I did not. This one looks, this one, this guy, this book looks like it might be an authority. I know. Look at that. Look, that book was $40, Candace. Yep. That's nuts. All right, Schroeder's uh, toy guides here, this whole stack. And I think a lot of the prices are what's on the cover. Like, look, this has Luke on the cover. Um, like, I saw a strawberry shortcake one that sold, like, for $20. So just that's the itself. same book, just different years? Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, 1999, 2006. See, they have the year. They came out every year. And then these are on BJ Summer's Guide to Coca-Cola. We have fourth, fifth, and sixth edition. Okay. So those should probably be. Lovely. And no, we don't. We don't. We don't like. We're not delusional. We don't think this is a, a home run. Right. Part of the buy or anything. Yeah, I was hesitant, but I said yes. Like I said, just to maintain that relationship with her, and it made her happy. So. Yeah. There's plenty of stuff they offered that we did not buy. Yes. I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't against this part. No, though. I wasn't. I wasn't. So um. Okay, we have one more box of stuff. Let's get it up here. Okay, I just looked up. Uh, somebody saw Greenberg's Guide to Mark's Toys Volume One, December sixth, for fifty-one bucks. Sweet. So that'll pay for all of them. Yep. Yep. All right, let me get this stuff unpacked. We have some interesting things in here. All right, this next lot of stuff. It has some items I need to list today. Today, just in case something goes wrong this weekend. <laughs> goes wrong. <laughs> Right, depending on who you are. <laughs> okay, um, this is a throw-in. Um, this book is actually pretty good if it's in good condition. This is very rough. I still may be able to get like 10 bucks for it. So, um, yeah, you did not tell her you wanted that, and she put it in anyway. Right. She did that with a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. man. A book of famous New Orleans recipes. Like, you didn't even know you had it until just now, right? I didn't want these either. Th these are all throw-ins. Okay. Uh, Legends of Oakland Plantation. I think it's just the history. And then this is a Louisiana plantation coloring book. There's different plantation stuff. So um, these are cool. They're compacts, vintage, and they still have the makeup in them. Like, look at that. So are, um, you know what? They're not used, are they? No, I mean like because the the little the uh, pa the the applicator thing was clean. it was clean yeah. right D wouldn't that mean it was like i would still sell it as just a collectible thing yeah because you can't sell used makeup right right and because it's not sealed see look at that that still has the makeup in it yeah um this one looks more modern to me but it does have makeup in it this is really cool it's like the a little cigarette part. case no, it, well kind of yeah this side has your oh, look at that. It has your comb, your lipstick case, and your powder case. That and is then cool. the other side is for your cigarettes. And I guess matches go in there. Oh, look at that. Isn't that, that cool? Is awesome, I've man. never seen one like that. And it's it's almost I was wondering if the middle part opens, but it doesn't. That's neat. Yeah, I thought that was cool. All right, so these are what Lonnie was talking about, all these Kansas City hats. Yeah, we have three Kansas City hats. We have five Kansas City hats. Five, okay, excuse yes. me. Yes. Uh, yeah, three times. They all have the tags too, by the way. Oh, they're they're they all do? good brands, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 47 brand. I've, I've sold those before. Yeah. 
You know, this is from last year's Super Bowl, all three of those. No, this is 22. Well, that would be last year because Super Bowl is played and... The AFC Championship, yeah, yeah. You know true. what I mean? Like, I know was, what you're saying. It's a 2022 Super Bowl game, but it's played in 23. Right. For the 22 season. Right. Yeah, you're right. That's always confusing. It is. All right, so yeah, we have Super Bowl hat and Super Bowl hat and AFC champions. And these are military salute hats. I saw one military salute hat for big money. It wasn't this design, so I'm hopeful for these. It's still a cool looking hat, though. It is. Look it at really that. Is. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Um, we're not. Okay, these next three hats are throw ins. What brand is this? 920? Yeah. Never heard of that. I think that's by New Era, huh? Is it? I think so. Yeah, New Era. That makes sense because they have their. Uh, What's that other? Some kind of 50. 50, 39, 50? I don't know. I can't remember. Something 50. Oh, man. We sound like idiots. Okay, these three hats are throw-ins. I didn't even see this one. She didn't ever Yeah, what it. is that? Is that the Bengals, y'all? Are they orange and purple? I thought they, they were orange and black. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this in my Does life. Does anybody recognize that um, logo, that mascot? That must be some kind of alt, alt mascot thing. That's orange and purple. That's purple outline there. And it's, it looks like a tiger though, right? And I mean, it's a good brand hat, so... Is I, it? I, I think so. I've never heard of Legacy 92 uh, before. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just making it. I mean, it's, it, feel, it's a, it, it feels, feels good. It feels like a high quality hat, yeah. but I've never heard of the brand before. This is a kid's uh, Mickey hat. That was a throw in. Yes. And then um, this is a uh, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I looked it up um, just because it's Spider-Man and there's a ton of actives and no solds. So um, that might be a donator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're back in the nutcracker business. I had to get it. It's LSU. Yeah. You know, so I thought it was cool. Made in? Probably China. China. Yeah. 521. California compliant for formaldehyde. Okay. Yep. Foco. Foco. <laughs> that, it is officially licensed. Look. It almost sounds like a bad word though. I know. Foco. <laughs> Get the Foco. Get the Foco out of here. <laughs> right, that's everything that we bought today from them. Um, for three eight five. Yeah. It was three fifty, and then you added the books on, and it for became three eighty five. Yes, that's correct. So yeah, we need to get listing because as full as we were merchandise before, we're even fuller now. Yeah, but this stuff is better. Yeah, so I think we're gonna sign off for now so we can get to work. Yep, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. Let me go get this KC stuff before they fool around and lose that uh, AFC championship game this weekend. Thanks for watching, bye y'all. Bye.